Hello, this is Megalane One, and this is a Peppers production. Now today, I'm gonna show you in this new series of RPG Maker how to, or you can call it whatever you want. I, don't, I honestly don't care. I'm gonna show you the first tutorial mapping. So. First thing, if you're like new to RPG Maker, this is a pretty good tutorial for you. So, first you want to go File, New. Oh yeah, sorry, I was on a Pokemon Essential. So, when you start this up, you're, you'll get this little square. Make sure that you're on this block. This is your starting position. So when you start the game, that's where your character will be. Okay, now I'll go over everything. So this is for a new project, so that we'll reset everything and this you can open a previous project that you have saved you can save the project that you are working on and cut that's for well other stuff I'll show you that some other time copy is just copying stuff paste is pasting stuff delete is deleting stuff undo that's so that if you go like that you can undo it or actually let me show you boom or you can uh, press Control Z to undo it. Now what these are, these are layers. So the first layer is like your ground. So this is the grass, so you can uh, add different types of grass like this and all that good stuff. Or you can have something like that. It's very nice, very nice. I don't know what type of grass this is. Oh, okay, so it's using uh, this. So that's your second layer and or your first layer, I'm sorry. Your second layer is for stuff like this. And it's for trees. So, I'll show you that. So, trees. Let's go with these. So, you go all like. Got all your trees. And inside the third layer, it can also be for trees. So, you can. Oh, that doesn't look great. Right. You can go like that, or or you can do it in between. Try to make this look look a little bit. There we go. That looks, I guess, decent enough. So I'm not fair. I'm not the best at mapping, but there you go. It can look a little something like that. So also for sec uh, second layer mapping, it could be for houses and stuff like this tent here and by the way we're using the uh, grassland grass yeah grassland I guess for like tents so you can just put tent right there it's for these little walkways I think that's what that is is a walkway and something about these ones with the white background if you do them inside the first layer that doesn't look right now does it because the background is transparent so you have to use the second layer. So like like that I guess. Yeah. Good enough. You can also put them inside the trees. So that's the second layer. Third layer, like I said, can be for trees or if you have signs that come up over the house, you can put them there. So that's the layers. Now this is for events. So if you want to make an event Simply do this, and I'll just put a simple person here, like this person. I'll, I'm just gonna do random, random fastest. So bam. So that's an event. They will just do whatever you tell them to, which I can show you inside another episode. So that's all that. Okay, now we'll go back to the second layer. Pencil, that's if you want to do one singular thing like that, that, that. This is if you want to do multiple, like that. Which is what I, it's what I use. This creates circles of them, so this looks kind of weird, but that's what that does. And if you're just starting a new project, flood fill is very useful because you can just Press on the grass type and you can click and it'll come up everywhere. See? So there's that. Selecting. This can 
be for when you're making maps or just copying so just drag it over your map and you can you know copy and I'm just gonna go back to that this is the ratio of the map so this is the uh, biggest smaller smallest I recommend you stay on one to one database this is your actors by the way actors is how you make your uh, starting character so real quick I'm just gonna make him this dude Lancer so I'm gonna make him cooler color there, let's just do that so that'll make your guy the uh, main character system this is for when when your game starts actually just let me show you save projects this is gonna be system is what this is so you can change you can change this and you can change the background you can you can do awesome stuff with this program so here I am my guy didn't change because I, I never applied it apparently now this person this uh, blue person is random approach random movement type you can't talk to them because I didn't make make it so that you could so flowers are solid I don't think I want them solid though This is the tent. I don't know if you can go through trees with this. Oh yeah, apparently. That, that isn't. That isn't right. That isn't right at all. So, fix that. Tile sets. After you inside your database. Now it says that it's right, but it's obviously not working. Make flowers that. There. So, system. Actors. Oh yeah, that's right, I never did apply the changes. Make him a thief. Yeah, that thief looks pretty rank. Just do that. You can change your battler graphics so when your guy's fighting, this is what will come up. I don't know where... Wow, that looks pretty stupid. So bam, now now you'll be the thief. I don't think I need to show you guys though, because it doesn't matter all that much. You just put the starter over there. So that is the first mapping project. So if you guys, oh, oops, <laughs> never mind. Oh, also, guys, I forgot to share because my video cut out. This is uh, materials, so if you want to import characters, pictures, tile sets, titles, or window skins, then this is where you go and you'll just press import and do that good stuff. Next to that, then you got your script editor, so if you have scripts that you would like to personalize your game with, I have a few inside my game that I'm making too, then this is where you go do it. So you would simply insert and you put your script right there. So yeah, this is your sound test, sa testing sounds I guess, yeah, and this is play test, so you can play test your thing. So that's all guys, let's see the finished mapping project. See now, now I'm the uh, thief, also with this uh, girl, frequency was low, this means uh, she, the rate at which she walks at, like how often she does it, is that. So let's go back into this. See now she's like freaking fast. So if you're playing game of tag, obviously you wouldn't be able to catch her. So that was it for a Pepper's production. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you want to see more, then well, you can simply like or comment, which will suggest to me that you want more. Hopefully. Let's hope these videos turn out well enough. And you can subscribe if you so feel that I deserve it. I hope I do. So have a good time, guys.